Okay, what do I have here? I don't even know what this thing is, man. The first time I saw the video of this guy's release, I was like, oof, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I will need to process this. I don't even know what the fuck this guy is. Okay, interesting. He has, he has an interesting shape here. He's like a little man. What the hell is this? What is this face under his... Okay, I think it's two people. I think it's, it's like a guy on top of each other. I think it's little mans on top of each other. There's three of them. What the fuck is this? What did I do? Oh my god, the maneuverability kind of sucks here. The first time I saw it, I thought about Junkrat from Overwatch and I was like, uh... Look, Bane, he has his classic hook that we see in other games, but that's fine, because it fits with the horror team. But this, like, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, it gives you st Each time you hit them in this form, it gives you stacks. Okay, so when it reaches this speed, he can break pallets. That's very interesting. I think in duo mode, this guy will rock. You have one guy chasing people around and the other one who just does his daily swoop, breaking all the pallets. This way, Yumi can stop complaining to me about uh, not breaking pallets. I could play this character, sweep every pallet, and she will be happy. So you hear them laugh, you hear them like ha ha ha, like they're crazy and all that stuff. Uh, I think it should be amplified even more, like it doesn't... I think their personality must be amplified, like it's not enough, they should they should give more in terms of the voicing. I think one thing that is to consider and to remember is that this is not a PC game, this is a mobile game. So for mobile players, maybe this is a, like an interesting experience, like this is like mind-blowing experience. But for me, it's like, okay, it's basically just... Like Junkrat, but I, I don't know. I don't. I don't find this character particularly intriguing. He's just weird. I do not understand him. Like in terms of what this guy is and this game style so far, I don't really know. You cannot hide from this guy. That's for sure. You can't hide. Okay, so I just used my second ability. Basically, the more stacks you have, the more damage I guess you deal. Um, the question is, can you do it from a distance? I don't think you can, because I already used it before from a distance. Oh, interesting. She's just slower. So the first ability is a trap, she's slower if she steps on it. The second ability, she... if she has stacks of spikes, and those spikes you gain them when you collide into people during your driving form. So you have one spike here. That was an accident. So that also gives spikes, it doesn't does damage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't find this character particularly interesting. I don't find him more appealing than Bloody Mary. I don't find him more interesting than Reptilian or more fun than Reptilian. This is not a character you can hide from. So maybe playing this character would be less irritating. He's a fast character, so every mechanic that slows people I think could be interesting. So you don't really want to have all the ciphers at the same place. And I don't know the cooldowns, right? I, I do not know what the cooldowns are. So that's a... that's... I didn't see you. <laughs> that's another thing to consider. Wow, when I'm not looking for them, I just bump into them, like just now. But when I look for a survivor, I can't find them. Anyways, I, I don't really care much about this character. He looks interesting in this form. I wish that vocally he would be more expressive. I wish you could hear each voice, that you could, like, distinguish between them. Because you have, like, one that is more dominant than the others. Like, just now I noticed, like, a bit of the other ones. Ah, fuck it.